Hello, hello, Hero of Collectors here. How's it going, everybody? Hope you all are doing fantastic. I know I am, and I do apologize if I look a mess. But we are here for the third video in the series. It's time to see the full display, everybody. That's right, we're going to take a look at everything, everything that has changed, everything that is currently at right now for the brand new four shelf display. So I will wait no longer, and we will just go ahead and get into it, and we will start all the way over there with the Infinity Saga Heroes shelf. Alrighty, we're in this top corner now, taking a look at the Infinity Saga Heroes. Uh, a few additions to this shelf, actually. Uh, back here with Goliath and Talos. Talos, Talos. One of those two names. There we go. Let's... There, that's better. So, starting in the back, we've got the Ant-Man crew. I've got Giant Man, Wasp, Goliath, Jimmy Woo, and, of course, Luis. Kind of have to have all that crew together. Uh, let's see, we got Hulk here with the Nano Gauntlet. And it kind of bleeds into, uh, well, Falcon. He's kind of only here because I want to have him have his wings spread. So he's in the back on a flight stand. And then we go into my Asgardians and then Cosmic People. So we have Sif over by Hulk. And then that leads over to the rest of the space and Asgardian characters. We have Hulk. I mean, Thor. <laughs> I, I'm really having a struggle with characters. And we got Korg. Leading into the Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we got back into the Asgard people, Asgardians. I'm all back there. And that leads into shield agents or just agent type people. And that's my uh, Kit Bash, Bobby Morris from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. there. Coulson, Black Widow, and Hawkeye leads into... Captain America and Bucky Barnes, love to see them together. Gotta have them together. And then you got my Wakandans. As you can see, come down over here. Black Panther is down in the front row, that's why you don't see him there. And then this is just kind of a jumbled mess of groups. So I've got Vision, Wanda, and Quicksilver together. Carol is right there, just because I wasn't sure what group to put her with. She's not exactly a Guardian of the Galaxy, but she is an Avenger. So, and then Black Panther out front. Gotta have that Chadwick Boseman figure out front. And then you got Iron Man crew. Happy there behind him. Oh yeah. So this is Antony, and I'm calling that my Hank Pym for now in the display. And then we got Goose over here messing around at Spider-Man's feet. Let's get that locked back in there. Okay, and we got Iron Spider. Thank you, Gahoo J, for that figure again. Love it. Have to have it front row on the display. And Ned and MJ. Let me get my Netflix Defenders over here. Love that Daredevil is currently filming right now when I'm filming this. And seeing the new costume is sick. Howard the Duck right there. Not sure I love where he's placed, but he has to go low because he's a short character. And then Doctor Strange up above. That is the Infinity Saga hero display. And then coming down here, we have my MCU Overflow. This hasn't changed much, just a couple new additions being the recent Black Widow figure. And then Matt Murdock there so i'll just kind of do a quick overview you can kind of see everything that's in here but i'm not going to go through everybody i do have the marvel select uh professor hulk oh that's another new addition unmasked sam again shout out gahoopery j for helping with helping me get that one uh uh but yeah like i was saying i have the marvel select professor hulk with the actual jumpsuit that i might try and stick in here but it's already pretty crowded so i don't know if that's gonna happen so yeah there is the mcu overflow and let's go down here to my major villains these are the villains that like have goals world domination or just ones that i like more than others so uh let's see starting back here we have the winter guard leading into the squadron supreme Still need to get the Nighthawk and Blur 2-pack. I have a few Ultrons. K-99 
Kang, Molecule Man. And then we've got Abomination with the leader. Enchanters kind of snuck in the back there. I need to get a full Masters of Evil setup going, but I need a Scourge. Actually, I need two Scourges because one will go in the Asgard display and one in the Masters of Evil display. And I need a few other characters. So, anyway, back to it. There's Thanos. Dormammu, classic Dormammu. Dark Doom. Got Bullseye for kind of like a... Bullseye and Moonstone for a kind of modern Thunderbolts. Baron Zemo. Dark Avengers back here. Along with Ragnarok, because he's a later Dark Avenger. Love to see it. The Super Adaptoid, which I just got recently. Love it. And I actually just read, uh, was it X-Men number 29, where Super Adaptoid fights the X-Men? That, that's pretty great, pretty great issue. I, I enjoyed that one thoroughly. Uh, that's the Symbiote Spidey for the Dark Avengers. I just put him up on Modoc's head because I thought it'd be funny. And you get... Aim, Scientist Supreme, and Hydra. Hydra leading out here. And the... I don't want to say it's a modern Wonder Man, but just a different modern... Uh, the different mo Wonder Man than the classic one, which is on my Avengers display. You got Udon Taskmaster, but Taskmaster back there. I can't talk today, apparently. But yeah, there is the major villain setup. Really liking how that's going so far. It's going to be difficult getting a few other characters in there when they come out. But, you know, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And now into a display I've never had before in any setup. But it's a full shelf for the Fantastic Four. So, and I will say that some of them are not holding their poses very well. Like Sue here. She, ah, okay. We're just going to set that down before anything else falls. Because I'm not going to do this one-handed. And I just knocked over figures behind me. Great, 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 great. This is all. Everything's fine. Okay. Starting in the back, we got the classic Fantastic Four. Just kind of chilling back there. I have Namor seducing one of my Sue Storms. Just because he has to be. Herbie. And then a few Doctor Dooms back or right in front. And then we got the more modern looking team. Whoa, that's way too bright. Let's tone that down. There we go. More modern team, or the black and blue team. I like that one. Yeah, High Evolutionary back there. Infamous Iron Man. The Dan Slot team right here, along with Psycho Man, and then the new Fantastic Four got Gray Hulk, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, and Spider Man. Yeah, really happy to finally have all these characters on display. I didn't. I only used to have the main four, and then the Doctor Doom that's up here on display. So having everybody here finally set up, I feel better about it now. So coming down here, we have what I call the minor villain shelf. These are the villains that are like part of uh, the Hood's crew, or they're, you know, ones that just, they're fodder for villains or heroes to fight. And it's, yeah, they just aren't the ones with the, Larger goals, in my opinion. So, let's start in the back. We've got Armadillo. We've got, uh, oh, Robo will be mad at me. What's his name? Why am I blanking on his name? Razorback, that's his name. Got him back there because I didn't have him on the Spidey Villain shelf. Controller, Nuke, Tiger Shark, Absorbing Man, and Bulldozer. We need some updated wreckers because... I've only got those two, and I want the full team. Got Mr. Hyde, build a figure, Jigsaw, uh, Windigo. Got the more classic Thunderbolts right there. Uh, Superior Foes of Spider Man, Iron Man 2020, Nightmare. There's my classic Taskmaster and Black Ant together because they're a duo in the books. Blizzard, Living Lightning. Purple Man, the Grim Reaper, who I probably could have put with my uh, Hydra people, but I'm okay with him here. Spy Master, the Hood, Claw, Grey Gargoyle, Patroc de Lipia. That's probably a really bad French accent, but you know, we're going to go with it. And the Serpent Society, who I still need to finish Puff Adder build to figure, but that team looks pretty good together now that I have them actually on display. So, really liking that. 
minor villains, ones that I haven't had on display, really, except for the superior foes. But yeah, I'm glad to have these guys finally in their place for a setup. And now, oh, coming down here, if I need more light, I'll turn on a lamp, but sorry, I'll adjust. Here is my miscellaneous shelf, and do excuse the power cord there. So starting in the back here, we have the Power Rangers, which you've probably seen several times on my channel, but now I do have the Ninja Turtle Power Rangers in the display. You can see all of them right there. Along with Shredder. So yeah, they've been integrated in with everybody else. So yeah, that's right. I've got three completed teams. we got Mighty Morphin, Dino Thunder, and the TMNT teams. Plus some villains. And then Alpha 5. And a few other randos. So Power Rangers are on hiatus right now. And that's fine because I'm at a stopping point with them anyway. Until they do a few of the other versions I enjoy. So... Uh, back there, we got the NECA, the boys figures, Buzz Lightyear with Socks, who fell over, um, Last Ronin, uh, G.I. Joe, which I've actually decided to go a little bit more into this year. I had, I used to only have Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, but I picked up Destro and the Baroness. Let's see, that, there. And then I'm going to get the new Duke and, uh, Scarlet, is Scarlet? I think so. Duke and Scarlet, and then wait for a few others to be made, and then that will be my completed G.I. Joe display. Got the Sonic figures, Sonic 3 trailer hopefully coming soon. I can't wait to get a shadow to add to this little collection of mine, so. We got these DC stuff, a few animated figures, a few movie figures, got the Smallville Clark Kent back there, a couple flashes. I've got the Ben Affleck, uh, Dawn of Justice Batman on pre-order right now, so that'll probably go in the place of the Justice League figure I've got back there. So, yeah, that is the miscellaneous shelf. Pretty stacked. <laughs> Don't have a lot of room there. So, moving on, let's get into my G1 Transformers setup. Now, I say G1, but not everything in here is G1. It's just the general term I'm going to use to describe it. So, getting into the back here, we've got... Megatron, of course, on a pedestal. Hope they do a proper G1 of him soon. We got Starscream. And there's Galvatron. And, oh, why am I blanking? Scourge. Scourge. That's his name. Uh, Dino, or the... Oh, what is it called? Ah, uh, Predacon. Predacon, Megatron back there. We got Tarn. We got... Shockwave, Nemesis Prime, thank you, Hoopery J, again. Shockwave, who is yellowing, not Shockwave, Soundwave, who is yellowing, which is really annoying. If you got the movie Shockwave there as a little turret guy. And we got Primal, and then we get into my Autobots. So we've got Eject, and I think it's Sam, Sam Wiki. I'm sorry about the dirt and crap. These were dusted, but, you know, things happen when you're rearranging a display. And then we got Optimus Prime, of course, with the Matrix, Blaster, Grimlock back there. I have two other Dinobots, but I just could not fit them in this, this display currently. So I do apologize there. Eventually, when this is split up into two shelves, because eventually the, the plan is to have this group have their own shelf. This Autobots have their own shelf. So I can fit them in that. But for right now, this is what we're working with. We got the Commander class, Ultra Magnus back there. And you can just see a lot of the Autobots. I'll let you check them out there. You can see I've got my 2007 crew with Optimus over here, Jazz, Ironhide, Ratchet, and Bumblebee. Got to have all of them together. So yeah, that is my... G1 Transformer setup. Now let's get into my Spider-Man Villains display. And I will adjust the brightness here so you can see it a bit better. Hold on. I need a please stand by button. But yeah, there you go. So that is everybody. We'll start in the back here. I've got like my gangsters, as I call them. And then it leads into more cartoony villains. 
Frogman and White Rabbit. Scorpion back there. Merlon. Hydro Man. They just announced a new Hydro Man with the Daredevil animated two pack. There we go. No, oh, too bright, too bright, too bright. There we go. Got the Human Fly. My core kind of Spider Man villains. Whatever arrangement of the Sinister Six you want. They're all right there. Leading into these guys. And I've got my goblins in the back. You can see all of them together. Got the ultimate goblin back there, just because I want him on this on the display. Even though I don't have an ultimate set up yet. Let's see how the goblins lead into my Carnage family. Of course, I gotta have that three-pack venom here. Chasm, got a spot right here for Hallow's Eve. Just need that wave to start coming out. And Morbius and the Jackal. So yeah, that is my Spider-Man villains display. All done. Now let's move on up into some X-Men villains. Okay. And there you go. Now you can see them. So not much has changed here, really. In fact, I tried to put everything back to where it was, but I think you know, a few things changed over here. So yeah, I'm just kind of take a look back here. Let's lock that in there. And you can see Nimrod. Got Bastion tucked away back there. Same with Omega Sentinel. Got my Reavers. Mojo. We got Spiral right there. Let's see. Love to finally have that onslaught. I think I finished him last year, middle last year. So having him finally in the X Men villains is nice. Get more into other mutants. My Brotherhood. Some Wolverine mutant, or not mutants, villains mixed in here. Let's see all that. So, that is the X Men villains display. I'm getting into one of my favorite shelves. Not that I have favorites, of course, they're like my children. How could I ever have favorites? But here is my Avengers display. Whoa, come on, fix yourself, fix yourself. There we go. Now, I split this up a little bit. So, we got. Core Avengers, West Coast Avengers with some other Avengers bleeding the back, New Avengers, and just a few S.H.I.E.L.D. agents and a few other random heroes. So let's go to the back here. There. Oh, come on, focus better. There. No! There. Got Doctor Strange floating in the background. There's my new Avengers. Kit Bash, Astonishing Wolverine. Sorry, he is so bright. There you go. Got the Defenders 4-pack Daredevil in the back there. Winter Soldier with my Shield Agents. Falcon up on a flight stand. And, uh, you know, just the classic Avengers team. Got the 20th, or the, no, the 60th anniversary Black Widow, who is amazing. Ranked number one on my Marvel Legends for the comics. Got a mini Ant Man down there. Extremis Iron Man. Love that figure. Poor yellow jacket in the back on Hulk's shoulders. It's a Marvel Universe figure. Let's see, I tucked a giant man away, the modern giant man back there. Vision. Got that void vision coming soon. Of, or He's out, but I haven't bought him yet, so coming soon. I'll get him eventually. Got my West Coast team over here. Let's see if I can block the sun there. Wonder Man, he was a new addition. He's why I Put the other modern, uh, the modern, I'm just going to call him modern anyway. Wonder Man in the villains display. Got War Machine back there. And Beast, he was one that I just made sure I added this time around. Got the Grey Beast back there. So yeah, Avengers comic display looking amazing. One of my favorites. Not that I have favorites. Totally. Absolutely. And then here is my Cosmic Good Guys. And get wide view of that right now. Silver Surfer just does not want to stay propped up properly. No matter what pose I get him in, he always falls over, which is a shame. So, uh, starting in the back here, we've got my Asgardians. Of course, Beta Ray Bill, Angela, Odin in the back there. Got a couple of Thors. Of course, got Jane Foster Thor right there. That leads into more my cosmic characters. I forget this character's name. I know he's a Nova, but he's so cute. So yeah, then we got more, more cosmic characters. And let's see. 
the Marvel, some Heralds of Galactus, Sex Nilo, got the Marvel Select Watcher back there. And there's Silver Surfer, got my Inhumans, need some more Inhumans, or updated Inhumans. I'd love Black Bolt to be on the Vulcan body, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Also don't know this guy's name, I know he's also a Nova, but not 100% on his name. There's Richard Ryder Nova, and then my Guardians of the Galaxy, with some classic looks in the back, and my Space Knight Venom in the back there. And of course, Groot. So yeah, Cosmic Good Guys. Some of these weren't on the shelf previously. Some of these were off on the side display. But yeah, uh, these are all there. Moving on up, we have my MCU Villains display. And this one was a toughie to get arranged. I even had to take some figures off the shelf to make room for others. So uh, let's start. Over in the back here, we got Surtur and Abomination. That's the Game Reverse Abomination. Ironmonger and Crow. Up here we got my Thanos and the children of Thanos and Ronin, who was kind of a child of Thanos. But he leads into my Kree, if that would focus. There we go. And leads into more cosmic baddies. You got the brothers over there with the Collector and the Grandmaster. Thor baddies with Loki and uh, not not Enchantress, Hela, Hela and Gore. Got Ego, got the Kang, Agatha, Scarlet Witch, Baron Mordo, kind of my magic users right there, along with Wen Wu. And we got Hydra. Hydra characters, that's the what if Red Skull. We got Namor and Atuma. And Black Panther baddies. Yellow Jacket. Love that yellow jacket figure. I was messing around with him when setting him up and such an underrated figure. He is awesome. And then got Kingpin up here. I just finished Echo the other day. Love that Vincent D'Onofrio is back as Kingpin. Love him as that character. Got my Thunderbolts kind of forming right there. You can see John Walker, Taskmaster, and Ghost. I'd love to see Zemo come back for that movie. And then we got my Spidey baddies. So there's... Whoa, that got really bright. Uh, Mysterio, Vulture... That's the Deluxe Vulture, and then Sandman, Green Goblin, and Dr. Octopus, and of course the best villain, Ultron, right there. So, that is everybody in my villain shelf, and I'm going to take a quick pause so I can rest my arms and get a drink, because my voice is, you know, a little messed up right now. So, we're going to pause and come back. Alrighty, while I take that brief intermission, let's check out my little side display that I forgot to show at the top of the video. So this is just a bunch of figures I couldn't quite fit on the display in some place, but I still wanted to have out because, you know, they either represent something or I just think they're cool. So yeah, you can see I have the 2003 Ninja Turtles right there. A few Iron Man armors, a handful of Wolverines, future Ant-Man, my current Ultimate Alliance crew. Stan Lee, some Ultrons, Maverick, a few more Wolverines, my Stormtroopers, and then that's, uh, oh, what are they called? Oh, I really forget what that Yu-Gi-Oh figure is from. I really do. Uh, Mini Mates, Ultron, and then my channel account logo, whatever. So that's that, but if we come around here... See, I've got my 12 inch Marvel Legends right there. Currently have six out of 12. And there's Sentinel and Galactus. So, yeah, that is my little side display. Just figured I'd show you that while I am getting a drink and freshening up my voice. So, there is that. Alrighty, we are back. And as you can see, the villain's shelf is right there. Right now we're taking a look at my MCU Multiverse Saga Heroes shelf. So there's the Guardians up there, which lead into my Asgardians. Huh, huh, huh. You can see Valkyrie right there. And that leads into a few mystical people with Wong and Doctor Strange right there. Into my street level characters, 
which is like the Captain America crew, the Ant-Man crew, the She-Hulk figure there, Moon Knights. Going back over to the Guardians, we've got the Shang-Chi people. Ooh, that's, that's better. That's a bit brighter. Hold on. That's better. Pop that in. And then the Hawkeyes leading into my Black Widow crew, my Black Widow family, I should say. And all of my Wakandans right there. Coming over here, we've got Cosmo, who couldn't fit up with the rest of the Guardians just because she's so small. And then Wanda and White Vision. You got a baby rocket right there. The Spider-Man trio. Love these figures. Some of the best figures Spider-Man or best Spider-Man figures has Rose Bane. We got MJ there with the, the box. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it right now. Eric Chavez. And Morris, right there. Got the Marvels. Just need that uh, Captain Marvel new costume to go with this trio, because that's a that's a missing gap right there. And then tucked away back here is Khonshu and a few Eternals. I do have all the Eternals, but I could only fit just a handful over here, so I tried to pick the main ones from the cast. So yeah, that is that shelf right there. And coming down here, we have my Cosmic Villains. So you saw my Cosmic Heroes not that long ago. Here's my Cosmic Villains. Back here we've got... Ooh, focus. There we go. Got my Asgardians. A couple Lokis, Enchantress. Ulick, Malekith, and Thor. Or Gore, not Thor. We have a couple of Evil Heralds. There's, uh... Oh... I just had his name. Why am I blanking on it now? Ah, oh, that's going to bother me. I can't remember his name, but Cosmic Ghost Rider. We've got Death's Head back there. Vulcan. Magus. Got my stand-in Annihilation Ultron. Got Dod Ugh, God Doctor Doom. Ooh, I just need to correct the pose there. Titus Baff, Zen New Baff, Deluxe Thanos, of course, with the snapping hand. Then we get into my Kree, which just consists of Ronin and a Kree Sentry. And then my Skrulls, which are two Super Skrulls, a Skrull Brute, four Goons, and then Queen Varanki. So yeah, lots of wiggle room there on that shelf. We need more Cosmic Villains. Uh, so let's move on down here to my Street Level and Mystical Shelf. This... Actually, I had to do some updating, too. Oh, I'm trying to get my step stool out of the way, sorry. Uh, had to do some updating to the mystical side, because I originally did not have Ghost Rider's bike there. So, you know what? Let's just start in this corner. There we go. So, we got Ghost Rider on his bike. That's a chain from a Lobo Collect and Connect figure. That's the Bath Man thing with a couple more Ghost Riders. Brand new Blade. And we got there the 90s Morbius with Doctor Strange. There's a nice little gap here because I just recently picked up Clea. Clea? I keep saying the wrong one. Clea. And she'll go there with Doctor Strange. Got Brother Voodoo. And Sleepwalker just kind of tucked away in the back. And then some more street level characters, but more like Shield Agents. We got the Hawkeye, Mockingbird, and Black Widow. Got Scott Lang, Wolverine, Hit Monkey, and Shang Chi right there in the front. Then Tigra with Moon Knight, the armored Moon Knight. Got the classic Punisher right there. A couple Hulks. And we got She Hulk, the what is it, the gray She Hulk or something like that. I forget what she's called officially. Misty Knight back there. We need an updated version of her. A couple Electros. Luke Cage for my Defenders. Classic Luke Cage, who's new. Iron Fist, we need a classic Iron Fist, please, Hasbro. And then got the three-pack Daredevil. So yeah, that is looking sick. I especially like that I was able to fit the motorcycle on there. And I still have some wiggle room back there. So if I ever finish my Bath or Mamu, I can stick him back there. And I've still got some room over here so I can fit like the... King Daredevil that's out and just like a few others so 
lots of potential with this one. Very happy with it. Coming down here, we have my core X-Men. And so, let's kind of start in the back here. We've got Colossus and Storm up on a flight stand. Got Namor tucked away, Polaris, Dazzler, Thunderbird, Longshot, Blink. Really like this Blink figure. I love those effects. Now let's go over here to this corner. Got the Archangel, which we'll swap out for the upcoming Deluxe Angel. And the Archangel will go over in my villain's shelf. So that's that. A couple time travelers with Bishop and Cable. And then got an X-Men Deadpool. The Cuckoos with Emma Frost. Coming out to the front here, we got Gambit and Rogue. Wolverine, Nightcrawler, and Beast. I always like having Wolverine and Nightcrawler together. A couple of buds. There. Up here we got Kitty Pride, Cyclops, and Jean. And we've got Sunfire, Jubilee, and Havoc. And then Legion and Moira are flanking Charles Xavier. So, really liking how my X-Men have come together. I don't have many other figures I feel like I'm missing from this setup. Maybe just a couple alternate looks, really. But aside from that, I'm pretty happy with how this has come together. So let's come down here. Do the Spider-Man display. Yeah, this was a big one to get right. I am very happy with how it turned out. Let's see. There we go. So how I have it set up is I have a riser in the middle. And that keeps all the 616 Peter Parker related stuff in the middle. And then all the multiverse stuff is out to the sides with a few others that just kind of bleed into the sides. So, let's start in the back corner here. Got Spinneret up on a flight stand. That's one of my favorite Spider-Verse figures that we've gotten. Got the advanced suit there in front of Spider UK. We got a couple of Spider Girls with Mayday, Gwen, and is it Anya? Spider Noir. Got the Ultimate Spideys right there. Spider Girl, or no, that's Spider Woman. Sorry. Pete and Miles. This is where we get into the 616. We got the Ben Rileys. We got uh, what would be the uh, is it sensational, spectacular, one of the two. The Ben Riley Spider Man, Spider Man Beyond, and that's the Ben Riley retro card head sculpt on him. The figure that's right in front of the Scarlet Spider that's right in front of him. And that goes into Kane Scarlet Spider. We've got a 616 Spider Women. And then let's get on over. We've got the Superior Spiders right there. Going into some alternate ones. We've got Punk and Ham. we got House of M. Velocity, which is more game reverse. We've got the two 2099s. SPDR, Captain Universe. Uh, <laughs> we've got the Old Man Logan Universe Spider Woman or Spider Girl. I forget which one she is. Uh, then we've got Webman, who I guess is technically 616, but... I just put them off to the side there. And then let's go back to the 616 over here. We've got a couple alternate costumes and looks. we got Big Time, Six Arm, Cyborg, Negative, and Bagman. Then all new, all different, Armored, first appearance. Sorry, the sunlight is affecting the glare. Got the Future Foundation Stealth Suit. The One of the armors, I forget which mark it is. And then the Iron Spider. And then up here we've got Peter's Loves and J. Jonah Jameson. So, got Black Cat who loves him as Spider-Man and in the black suit. We have Gwen Stacy who loves him as Peter Parker. And we have MJ who loves him as both. So, uh, I really liked having these on display now. Especially that MJ finally up with Gwen and... Black Cat, and then Jameson's holding another one of those newspapers. Thank you, Gahoopri J, for that. And yeah, there is my Spider-Man Spider-Verse display. Very happy with that and how it turned out. So now if you give me a moment, this is probably going to be a pain on your eyes. Ah, okay. Coming down here, we have my live-action Transformers display. 
At time of recording, I just ordered some Yolo Park uh, Transformers figures, so this display is probably going to change once I get those built and kind of settled into them. So yeah, uh, starting back here with the Bay stuff. You got Bumblebee, that's a premium finish Optimus Prime. And then uh, Transformers 1 Megatron, Transformers 2 Megatron, and Galvatron. Lots of silver there. And then we get into what I, uh, my current universe display or group. Of course, I have to have the B-Movie Prime back there. But then we get into the Rise of the Beast Prime. We got Cheetor and Rhinox, Ratchet and Ironhide. Rise of the Beast, Bumblebee, and Noah in the exosuit. Love that little guy. He's great. Got RC. And tucked away back here. Let's see if we can get a better look. There is Scourge. And then we have uh, Soundwave, who I guess I should have put his shoulder cannon mounted. Um, but that's all right. And then we have Ravage down there. So lots of figures still left to get, like Optimus Primal. Uh... You know, Mirage is hitting, so I should probably get him soon. Uh, I don't have uh, the ah, the concept Rumble yet. Um, concept Megatron's still coming out. I'm going to have those YOLO parks coming in. So still some gaps here, but I have some room. We'll make it work. So that's just, that display is in progress, kind of, but set up for now. Now this one. Sorry about the poor camera work here, but I need to adjust. And here is the Star Wars display, all nice and crammed in there. So we'll start right in the back. If I can get a good look at everybody, you can see Fives, Jesse, and Echo. And that leads into the Bad Batch crew, Focus. No, no, there, there, there we go. That's a bit better. See the Bad Batch crew back there. Little hunters tucked away down there. Got Omega. And then we've got, oh, what is this? The Omega Squad? I feel like that's wrong. But the GameStop exclusive figures from, oh, what game is it? I am just drawing a blank today. I am so sorry. But all that crew is complete. We've got my two Revens and a comic book mall back there. And then let's down here and just the brightness there we go we got ray and kylo this is kind of the original trilogy or empire era figures so we got the uh, original trilogy crew right there various different looks that i feel like fit for that crew and then we have the vader apprentices that's the uh Exclusive Starkiller with all the alternate hands and heads, so I gave him the blue lightsaber. When I get the other one, I'm going to swap out the head, the single pack release, I should say. I'm going to swap out the heads for an evil look and give him a red lightsaber and stick him with my Sith. So, yeah, you can see. We've got the Rebels crew right here, minus the worst member, aka Chopper. And that's probably going to get me some hate in the comments, but that's okay. And then Thrawn and the Grand Inquisitor, because those were both villains of the Rebels crew. And we have my Empire baddies plus Luke. So it's Vader, the Emperor, and Boba, and the Return of the Jedi Luke. And we get into the prequels. So we've got Episode 1, Maul and Obi-Wan so far. Padme and Anakin should be hitting soon. I need to backtrack and get the Qui-Gon. That crew will be set up. And we got Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Jango, along with Count Dooku. Uh, I need to go back and get the Episode 2 Padme as well, and that'll kind of round out that crew. And then with Ventress, we bleed into my Clone Wars stuff. You can see the Clone Wars is so kind of tucked back there. She kind of hides behind Chrysanthemum, and I may need to fix that in the future. But then my Clone Armor Jedi. And Windu, which kind of... Leads us into Season 7 Ahsoka and my Revenge of the Sith stuff. You see Anakin, Obi-Wan, Season 7 Maul, and Cody and Grievous. That's the only reason Cody is down here. It's because I don't have a... Well, I plan to have Rex go right around in there with Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Ahsoka. So Cody was over here. Yeah. 
So now coming down into what is the post Empire stuff, we have my Mandalorian crew. Let's see all those, and that bleeds into my Boba Fett crew. You see Grogu there. That's a vintage collection cradle with the Black Series Grogu, the <clears throat> first release Grogu. You see Black Crescenton. And that goes into Ahsoka and Obi-Wan. This is where kind of the display is a little crowded. I think if I end up needing more space for more figures, I think Reva and Obi-Wan are going to get kicked out to make room. But yeah, there's those. It's on C-3PO, who I don't have an R2 to, to pair with quite yet. And then a Yoda and Mace Windu. So really starting to enjoy where I'm going with collecting Black Series. I have, you know... You can kind of get from how I have it set up. I have a goal of grouped characters by eras and, you know, movie association and whatnot. So, and you can see who I am comfortable having doubles of and who I'm not, you know, some of my favorite characters. So, yeah, lots to still get here, but I'm really liking how this is set up. And then we come up here, and you get blinded because I need to adjust the brightness. But we have the symbiotes display. This is what used to be kind of tucked away in the dark depths of my display. But now it's next to my Spider-Man stuff, stuff. So I'm really liking where this is at. And I did kind of arrange this by, uh, you know, cer certain ways. Over here we have the children of Venom. Life Foundation symbiotes, you can see Phage tucked away back there. And then Carnage and the Ben Riley Carnage, but this is more for a different part, which is like the Spider Man infected car or venomized characters. So that's, you know, we've got the classic black, we got Superior Spider Man, or Superior Venom as he's called, more modern black suit, Spider Carnage, and Ultimate Spider Man. And then we get. Into my Eddie Brocks, so we've got the Monster Venom Deluxe back there with Toxin Eddie Brock, Anti Venom Eddie Brock, another Toxin Eddie Brock, Standard Venom Eddie Brock. Uh, I don't know what Pork Grind is, so he's just kind of thrown in there. <laughs> got my Kings in Black back there, and then uh, just because I couldn't fit him uh, with the rest of the Children of Venom, we've got the Red Goblin back there. And then the rest of this is just kind of people who have worn symbiotes in the 616. So we got the Flash Thompsons there with agents. And then agent, or space agent Venom, or space Venom, whatever you want to call him. Venom Pool and Mania. And then just kind of multiverse. We got Poison, Gwenum, Miles, Cap, and my custom Kit Bashed, Doctor Strange Venom. So that is that shelf. Oh, yeah. Back in Black Deadpool. So, yeah. That is my symbiote shelf. Not a lot of room left, but we are rumored to be getting more Venoms this year, so we'll, we will see what I end up getting this year to continue complementing this shelf. Okay, we are now moving up to my X-Men side teams, kind of extra X-Men display. So, I kind of grouped this by teams the best I could. And we're going to start in the back with X-Factor. You can see back there, I've got one multiple man, Forge, yeah, Havoc, and Polaris 2-pack. That is a Wolfsbane that I swapped the head and hands on on an extra Polaris. That leads into the X-Force. This Deadpool really is just part of the Deadpool core over here. But I wanted to have him posed with the swords, so that's why he's kind of over here. See Domino tucked away in the front there. And boom, Boom, Richter, Shatterstar, Siren, Sunspot, Cable. We got Cannonball back there and Warpath. Which leads into my Uncanny X-Force. You see head pull right there. And we got Wolverine, we got X-23, another Domino, another Deadpool, Psylocke, Phantom X, and Deathlock back there. Which leads into Excalibur. You can see just Megan. We got Captain Britain back there and Kitty Pride. The uh, the new X Men '97 figures are gonna give me a new Nightcrawler, 
And so the Nightcrawler that's currently on my display over there, he's going to go over here with the rest of Excalibur. So that is that. Back here, we've got Warlock to go with my new mutants. But in between those, we have my two Generation X members, Monet and Chamber. Shout out Rich M for Monet. That He just loves Monet. Not that he helped me get... Bleh. Not that he helped me get her, but just he loves Monet. We got my New Mutants crew. That is a Kitbash Magma. And then like I showed earlier, here's my Deadpool core with the new two-pack bob. We got Dogpool, Squirrelpool, Lady Deadpool, Headpool, and Deadpool. <laughs> so we have that. And then we have, last but not least, Alpha Flight. All complete. Plus first appearance Wolverine. So that is that that is my crew lots of missing characters though like i'd love a, a new blue suit quicksilver to go with my uh, x-factor crew a couple missing people from x-force oh and i guess i'd take an update in wolf's bane for x-factor uncanny x-force needs a few updates uh, i'd love to get the rest the male new mutants rest generation x some more multiverse deadpools you know still Lots of missing pieces, but I am very happy with where it is now. So let's go on up to one of my favorite shelves. Not that I have favorites, again, but this is my legacy crew, just young heroes over here. We've got my runaways so far. That is the Nico, and then I got a Jurassic Park. I think it's Amber Collection Raptor to be old lace. There we go, focused. My Kitbash Zavin. And then we got Cloak and Dagger back there. Shuri tucked away in the back. My new warriors have not gotten the new Justice figure yet, but he will go with this crew once I get, do get him. My only two young Avengers with Kate Bishop and Novar. And you can see I've got White Tiger there, Gwenpool. And back here is my champions, kind of. Stinger, it was in Wolverine, not necessarily champions, but you know, younger heroes. Gamer vs. Miles here. Sam, uh, why can I not think of his name? Sam, Sam Nova, we'll just go with that. Miss Marvel, Amadeus Cho, and Ironheart up on a flight stand there. Really happy to finally have all of these with their own display. They used to share. A display with my mystical and my street level characters but now they have their own room to grow here with plenty of room come on hasbro give us more of these characters so and now we are down to the final two and let me get the step stool there we go we have my mcu multiverse shelf i kind of divided this by uh heroes and villains kinda so we have my What If crew, my Defenders of, no, the Guardians of the Multiverse, plus the Scott Lang head down there. And then we got the Heist Gamora, Hydra Stomper back there, the Watcher overseeing it all, which leads into my Loki stuff. You see Mobius and classic Loki. Got Loki and Sylvie, He Who Remains. I still need to get the Tesseract pack Loki. And then he'll go up here as well. Tucked away in the back is Earth 838 stuff. That's my Baron Mordo. And then the other Captain Carter, but with a Black Widow jetpack. We got the Marvel Zombies, Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, and Cap. Those are some great figures. Infinity Ultron. Love that character, love this figure. Uh, that's a kit bashed kind of Hydra cap, just using whatever parts I had, not based on anything really, just something I thought was fun. And then we have the Hydra Stomper from season two of What If. So, yeah. Lots, oh, almost fell off the step stool. Lots of great figures here, lots of room to grow. Hopefully, we delve more into the multiverse with the MCU. But then that brings us to the final shelf, and this is all multiverse as well. <clears throat> We have my non-MCU movie figures. So, kind of, you know, let's start up here. We got the 
into and across the Spider Verse stuff. You can see there. You can see that I've got 2099 and Punk there representing Cross, and the rest are across, uh, into the Spider Verse. You come down here, we got my Tasm figures with Electro, Spider, and the two Spider Men. I've also got the Lizard over here. And then we got the Toby figures right there, my Kit Bashed, Toby McGuire, uh, out of the costume figure, Game Reverse Miles, Japanese Spidey. And we get into my X Men stuff. I try to do this by, you know, this is the first set of movies, X Men characters. There's some older Cyclops, Beast, and Colossus figures over there. And then we get into the newer timeline stuff with the Deadpool movie figures. Let's see Cable, Negasonic, Teenage Warhead, Domino. We have rumors that we're going to get a uh, Colossus from these movies, which that'll be fun to get. And then some more newer timeline with the James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender figures. And then more wolverines we got the tank top wolverine there and the logan figures and that's my kit bash ghost rider from the nicholas cage movie and then let's come over here a few more cross spider verse figures with spider ham and then the uh gwen and miles some animated figures from the animated 90s animated universe with wolverine and spider-man and then oh prowler fell over i didn't see that Whoops, I'm not going to try and fix that right now because I know I'm going to knock somebody else over. But yeah, Spot and Prowler from the Spider-Verse movies. And of course, the Marvel Legends Venom and SH Figure Arts uh, Carnage. <laughs> Why was I blanking? But yeah, so that is that shelf all complete. And that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. This was a long one. and. But lots of things have changed, and I really wanted to, doc to document this. It's like last year, you know, I still only had three shelves. Now I have four. This changes a lot, and this is kind of where it's going to be for the next... I don't even know when. It's going to be a while. But this is where we're at with the display. You know, I showed you the side display earlier, but yeah, this... this is where we are at. So I hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to quit rambling on and get to editing this video now that I have everything filmed. And I will talk to you all in the next video, in the next post, another time. Thank you very much.